Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Aida and today in this video I want to talk about um, 10 things you can do to feel uh, home in a foreign land, uh, how to adjust if you just moved or you're planning to move to another country, how you can make your transition a bit easier. I moved to Australia myself four months ago from Georgia, even though I'm originally from Kyrgyzstan. And I would like to share some things that really helped me to get used to my new environment, uh, make some friends, and finally have a sense of belonging. If you're interested to learn about those things, please continue watching and let's get started. After thinking about different things that I went through emotionally and physically, I came up with 10 things that helped me personally to get used to uh, my new place, new culture, new country, and maybe these things will help to you as well if you're going through this transition at the moment. And if you have more things to add, I would like to learn more things from you, uh, what helped you to transition and settle down quickly and easier into new environment. Let me know where you move, where you're originally from and where are you now. Okay, let's start with number one. Um, it's walking around your neighborhood. So once you move in uh, either with your host family or you're renting your own place, it would be nice to just walk around your block and to see what other streets are close to your house and shops maybe, parks. That way you can know what's uh, located on your street or behind and just different routes around your block. So when I leave my house I usually decide should I go left or should I go right? And today let's say I go to the left so I walk a few blocks uh, on the same street. I can go up north or up south and just walk around and see what's around uh, my area. That way I actually discovered um, some coffee shops, parks, little shops, uh, laundromat, you know, things like that. So that's number one. Uh, number two is related to number one. <laughs> Find nearest uh, maybe a coffee shop if you like coffee. Um, go there regularly if you can. You can bring your laptop and work there if you want. Um, so you can become a regular and make uh, rapport with a barista or people that work there. If you're into books, of course, find the um, nearest library in your area. That way you can go, check in, check out, have some books and also maybe start talking to a librarian and become a regular and that way you can meet people. I personally like uh, secondhand shops, vintage shops. Here they're called op shops. So what I do, I look on a Google map, where's the nearest one, I go there um, and then next day, for example, I might go to a different area where I haven't been and it's that way I explore the area and I go to new shops and see what's there. I just love looking through things uh, and see what people get rid of or find some gems for myself and that's why I explore the neighborhood, I um, become a regular in those shops and, um, and also I'm having fun finding things. Number three would be joining a, a class or uh, doing activity. A yoga class, if you're into yoga, maybe if you're into running, you can start running. Uh, pottery classes, knitting, crochet, uh, you name it. There's so many classes that you can join and that way you can meet new people. Uh, you may not talk to them right away or go out with them, but once you become a regular, you can make friends and connections. Um, number four, uh, also you can start volunteering for charity that's close to you or you can look up if you wanna uh, volunteer at uh, animal shelter or like me at a multicultural center where I visit um, residents at aged care facility. It can be anything. Uh, that way you will also attend some events for volunteers and meet fellow volunteers as well. That way you can uh, become part of community, make friends, um, and as I mentioned about classes, my organization holds uh, yoga classes for volunteers every Thursday, so that way I can meet other girls and make friends and also do yoga. <laughs> Number five, join Facebook expats group. Uh, for example, when I lived in Georgia, I was a member of 
expats in Belize group. That way I can communicate with other expats, uh, ask questions if I don't know anything about the city or things that bother me or I want to know uh, answers to some questions. Also you can join internations, that's really popular. I know you have to pay a fee but still uh, that's a good way to meet other people who've been living here for a while or new into the city or place wherever you are and make connections and networking. I also joined Facebook group here in Adelaide and uh, I attended monthly lunch event and that way I met new people and through that group I joined another dinner group on Fridays so that way I started meeting new people, making new friends. Number six is don't be afraid to reach out to people. If you have friends who know someone or acquaintances who live in the same city, ask for contacts and say hey I would like make friends, is your friend available, I would like to meet them and if you've been following someone on Instagram, let's say in the same city, you can also maybe message them and say hey, how are you, would like to make friends, I'm new in the city and so on. Um, I used to follow <laughs> this girl um, Oksana who's been living here for a while now and uh, been following her and sometimes I would comment or send my reactions and then later on we started talking a little bit and then we met and now we're good friends so don't be afraid i know sometimes it's hard to reach out to people you don't know or they don't know you but uh, the more you talk the more they're willing to be open and meet you in person so don't be afraid and uh, reach out number seven is about doing something that you've been postponing or would like to do for example if you want to start youtube like i did uh, if you into podcasts you can start your own podcast uh, or blogging if you into writing or you want to develop your writing skills and get better and if you're feeling lonely or stressed or anxious uh, frustrated you can start actually talking about these things and spread the awareness for example, when the reason I started this YouTube channel is when I lived in Georgia and during COVID and going through uh, stressful times, I've decided, okay, what can I do? How can I use that frustration into something creative and something that would keep me busy and share something with others? This is a perfect time because you become very creative during your transition. So if you thought about it, but you never done it, go for it. Number eight is to talk to someone or a friend who also lives overseas so you can talk through your emotions, things you're going through because that person can relate to your changes. I have few friends who live overseas and when we talk um, via messages or on the phone or on Zoom, doesn't matter, we can share our feelings and emotions and what we go through and and provide support that we need and you that way you don't feel as lonely and you know that someone else is going through the same thing at the moment or went uh, through those things in the past and number nine if none of those things work for you uh, you can always find a therapist it can be either online or offline it's up to you if you don't speak the language wherever you are you can also of course find a therapist online uh, who speaks your language and talk through your um, transition, how psychology of immigration works and what can help you to overcome those challenges. And of course, final number 10 is to give yourself time, be patient, also allow yourself to live through those feelings and emotions. It's not that easy and it takes time to adjust and feel yourself like home in a foreign land. I know at times it can be lonely, um, that's why it's good to stay in touch with your friends and family who are back home or overseas. Uh, either way, it really helps their support. And as I said, transition and move its a very stressful event in someone's life. Even if you've been waiting and wanted this for so long, uh, any change for a person is stressful. So I really hope this video helped you in some ways to overcome those challenges and obstacles and adjust uh, smoothly in your new environment. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Share with us what things helped you to adjust in the new country or new city and new place. And till next time, bye!